Greetings, cyberdogs and citizens of the internet. This is Rendog coming at you from the very top of Granny Dog's monument in this Let's Play Minecraft survival series. In the previous episode, we were failing pretty hard to install a secret entrance to Molmart. And in this episode, my friends, we are getting down to the serious freaking business of crafting. I want to get Molmart to a place where it is basically finished today and man, have we got a butt ton to do. Sit back and relax, my cyber diggity dogs. Hope you got a tasty ass beverage. Cheers. Mm. And some crunchy ass snacks. Let's play some Minecraft survival. All right, everybody. Welcome to my Minecraft world known as Rentopia. It is Saturday night. It is freezing cold outside. And let me tell you something. I can't think of anything better to do tonight than play some freaking Minecraft with you guys, man. And uh, when you guys were last with me, a serious facepalm occurred. In fact, I'm going to stop this episode right now just, just to facepalm again. Ah, <sighs> sigh. I spent an entire episode making a redstone secret entrance at the back of Walmart, and then I jazzed the whole thing up by covering up the redstone circuit with some freaking dirt. And, uh, yeah, it was a pretty freaking newbie thing to do, guys. I'm not gonna lie. But guess what? It is all completely fixed. And it is good to go, man. What in the jazz is going on with this texture over here, man? I've been having some weird things going on with my texture pack at the moment. Look at this. What is, what is going down over here, man? Um, I think this is probably because I've been trying to figure out how to start, uh, or how to get back into my Minecraft Hardcore series. I'm trying to find a way to uh, install the mods that I had in that series in 1.8 and it is failing hard. And it looks like it's also affecting my texture pack for some reason. Um, but any who's all my peoples, today I want to work on the Walmart Bazaar and by work I mean I want to freaking work. I want to get very close to putting on the roof today. I want to finish off all of the neon lights inside of Walmart, and I also want to finish off the secret room. The, the nether room, I guess. We have to find a sweet name for this room, actually. It's kind of like the dark room or the, the evil room. I don't know. Uh, but I've been spending a couple of hours uh, working on this room over here, guys. And I'm going to try and get that footage into a dog mail episode. Oh, yeah, baby. Dog mail is coming back. And uh, the next dog mail episode will probably contain that footage. But as you guys can see, man, I've been doing a little bit of work back here since you were last with me. And I've been experimenting with using these nether bricks instead of uh, using these stones. I also tried to use some slavage, but that didn't work very well. The nether brickage, on the other hand, is looking absolutely pimps though, man. Like, check how awesome the nether brickage looks next to the dark oak wood and the red glass panes with the water behind them. I think it looks absolutely epic. And uh, what I've also done is installed some freaking uh, glowstone over here. The la very last of my glowstone has gone into this to give you an idea of where I want the lights to be. So wherever you see dirt over here is basically where, where I want this glowstone to be. And I've also installed a shelf over here, which I think looks pretty awesome. It's not as big as the shelves in Molmart, but it's I think it's kind of cute, man. And it's kind of eerie looking too. And uh, because the segment is is only four blocks wide, we can't make a double shelf. Instead, we've had to make a single shelf. And I've used this nether rail that I picked up from one of the uh, fortresses we found in the nether like ages ago to sort of finish it off at the back. And I think that looks pretty awesome. What I want to do is install another shelf in this segment. And then in this segment over here, I want to install the nether chest altar of some kind. Uh, but we've got quite a lot to do in today's episode, guys. And I think I'm going to start off with by just finishing off the secret room over here. I really, really like the design that um, I've got going on over here. And I've been using a bunch of this nether brick slabbage um, to get this look. And the reason that I've been using this nether brick slabbage is because when I run it along the top like this, as you can see, it looks really, really sweet. But when we build up the walls of these little segments over here, so if we have a look over here... Uh, these little segments are actually built out of nether brick slabbage and Check it out, right if I build it up like this and build it down Like that and this is where uh, the glowstone is gonna sit. Let's just fill this up. So there's no spawnage back there And I think I just jazzed this up also There we go. 
Um, we want to, we, I, basically I want to try keep the textures as consistent as I possibly can throughout the design of the secret room over here. I've used a bit of nether brickage over here in the corners of the room and I'm going to use more nether brickage on this side too. Uh, but for the center, these like little central pillar thingies, I wanted to use nether brick slabs because I, I don't know, I just think they look absolutely freaking rad, man. The only thing that I am missing though is some glowstone and that means we're going to have to head into the nether, man. And when we go to the nether, bad things happen. Uh, and by bad things, I mean giant ass babies spitting fireballs at us. Um, making the sound of dying cats. I mean, that's that, that pretty much sums up the nether in one sentence, right? It's a freaking terrifying place, man. And I'm not much of a fan of the nether, if I'm honest with you. It's, <laughs> whenever I go into the nether, I kind of poop myself. Because, damn, it is a scary ass place. But we're going to have to head in there because we need more glowstone. Um, if we want to complete Mol the Molmart Bazaar, we we're also going to need glowstone to put some light fittings and whatnot in Molmart itself. But check it out, dudes. This is looking awesome. I better get some lights in here, though. Because there will be some spawnage happening. Um, but look at that, man. That is just looking awesome, isn't it? I think it looks so much better with the nether bricks than the stone bricks or the slab bricks. Oh, it just looks so ominous in here. So cool! Um, I've also made the little features on the roof too, which I think look absolutely awesome. I still need to make one more over here though. Um, one more above this shelf over here. So I think that's going to be my next task for today's episode. We're pretty close to, to actually com like fully completing the secret room, which is sweet. I got a little bit carried away, <laughs> uh, as I usually do when I, when I work by myself. You know, like most of the time um, when I'm not recording Minecraft or Feed the Beast, I'm pretty much playing Minecraft or Feed the Beast. And I'm either playing this series or I'm playing another series. And there seems to be a bit of water that's gonna, gonna fall in on us over here. Um, but you know, sometimes it's just nice just to, just to play some freaking Minecraft. Oh, we're actually, we're actually right above the infinite water source that I made over here. That's quite hilarious. Um, let's just get a couple of buckets of welder filled up over here and then we can fill this up. There we go. All right, so what I basically need to do is dig out enough area over here um, so that all of this, all of these blocks that you see in front of me are going to be stone blocks because that's the, but that's basically the design that we're going for, right? So if we have a look at this one, you can see there's like stone blocks behind the water, which is essentially the design that, that I'm trying to work with over here. So what I've got to do, check it out, right? What I've got to do is dig out all of this jazz like this. And then get some stone bricks in there. I only have nine stone bricks. All right, my friends, just went to sleep that night away and pick up some more stone brickage. Um, man, we are burning through a ton of resources in this project. It's actually quite crazy. Uh, we're going to have to actually head to the furnace rooms in a moment because I've been smelting down a whole bunch of new jazz. Because uh, we need a whole bunch more nether bricks and a whole bunch bunch more glass, actually, if we're going to complete this Molmart project. But check it out, guys. There we go. That is now installed. And what I need to do now is put an infinite water source in this position like this then fill in the gaps like so and then get some red glass panes out like this <laughs> it's a little bit of a mess but it, it works okay this it's a bit of a, a messy <laughs> a messy technique but it does the germ Get in it. There we go. All right. Nicely done. <laughs> awesome. There we go. Our little uh, light, our water light feature has been installed. Looking pretty sweet up there, man. And um, there we go, man. That's looking pretty pimps. I think we're pretty much done here now. Uh, this has got to be glowstone at some stage, though. Let's have a look. What else do we need to do in here? All of the roof features are done. I've done all of the pillars. I need to fill in this infinite water source, though. There we go. Dang it! All right, there we go, man. That is looking absolutely sweet. All I got to do now is make one more shelf, I think. So let's see, how did I actually do this? All right, here we go. I'm freaking noobing out over here, man. <laughs> All right, there we go. That's what we want to do with the dark oak wood stuff. Then we want to use some nether brick stairs to create like the front platform area. So this is the, the place where the chests sit, right? So let's just finish off. I think we need a couple more trap chests. So let's just build two more trap chests. 
There we go. Now we can get the chests on top of the shelves. Like so. So sweet. Now we can build up the back of the shelf. Get this puppy finished. What in the jazz happened there, man? <laughs> man, my Minecraft is so buggy right now. And then... I think... I think it's like this. Yeah, pretty sure it's like this. Gonna have to noobabate her up there, though. To finish it off. There we go, so wheat down again. Did I bring the, the nether rack fencage? Oh, oh, the, oh I did. Sweet. Alright, so we can... I don't even know if we can make this stuff actually. I just found this in the storage rooms. Alright, now what we need to do is finish off like the lining. Oh, face palm, stair place, new bitch. Oh, oh, you bastard. Place, place it in the correct fashion. No! <laughs> oh man, I'm so bad at placing stairs. What is wrong with me? All right, there we go. There we go. Come on. It ain't that hard, is it? All right, let's try on this side. There we Oh, you butt hole. Hole of butts. Damn hole of butt stair. All right, there we go. Sweet. So those are the two shelves done, and these shelves are gonna are gonna hold stuff like nether wart and slime and all the nasty ass stuff that we don't want to keep in the mall mod bazaar. So that is pretty freaking sweet, man. You know what we do need to do though is is probably get some glowstone on this side of things too. Hmm. Here's what I'm thinking, right? Let's make a little bit more slabbage. Man, we better get some torches up in here. There is gonna be spawning at any moment now. Right? Let's just make a little bit more slabbage. Here's what I'm thinking, right? Let's make a couple of pillars running next to the window so it kind of emulates what's going on with these windows. So the windows are like square and then they have a pillar one block away from the actual window. So let, oh yeah, that's going to work really nicely. Let's actually do that on this side of things. And I actually didn't really like this wall because it wasn't symmetrical with the rest of the room. But if we do this, stick with me, man, stick with me. It's all going to make sense in a moment. If we do this, four, one, two, three, four, pick that one up, check it out. It's going to work beautifully, man. Oh, baby. So that's where the glowstone's going to be. And then we'll finish it off by running the slabbage all the way up to the roof. There we go. Check it out. Beautiful. That works awesomely. So if you imagine all of this dirt will become glowstone and that's going to complete the look of this thing, it's going to be absolutely pimps. And all we've got to do now is work out a design for like some sort of a, an altar over here for our nether chest or our ender chest. But uh, I'm going to think about that one a little bit more, I think. I don't know. It's probably going to look something like... Um, basic design will probably be something like... I don't know. Like that. <laughs> Man, that is butt ugly. But you, 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 you guys know what I'm saying, right? Yeah, that, that, that looks nasty. That looks absolutely nasty. I don't know. Who knows, man? Something like that. That would be pretty sweet. Anyway, man, that's looking absolutely sweet, guys. I've pretty much done everything that I wanted to do in here today. I'm going to think a little bit more about what the uh, ender chest altar is going to look like, and I'll, I'll work off camera on that one. But check it out, dudes. This place is looking absolutely sweet. I really love this little new secret room that we have over here. This is basically where the witch is going to come and do her shopping. Um, so I hope her raggedy ass is freaking grateful for all the work that I've done over here, man. <laughs> All right, my friends, let's head back into the mole hole castle because we need to head to the furnace rooms and pick up a whole bunch of jazz. Man. Let, let me make a bit of space up in my inventory here, though. I've been trying to keep stuff relatively neat, although <laughs> that hasn't really worked out. These chests start to get very messy very quickly, and uh, I blame 
I blame holding shift. Because <laughs> holding shift actually lets you just move things from your inventory to chests. And uh, now that I've just been doing this, I've just realized that I picked up these item frames specifically for today's episode so that I could get them on our new secret room uh, shelves and I didn't do it. So let's just head back here and get it done. There we go, sweet. Um, but yeah, man, those chests are an absolute disaster right now. These chests kind of resemble my room after like a two week Minecraft video recording marathon where I just spend the entire time recording videos. Things get nasty up in here, man. <laughs> oh man. Man cave of epic proportions. And with a man cave comes a man smell. If you know what I mean? Whoo! Damn! Oh! Thank you very much, Diablo, for your contribution to the army of devil chickens. I'm gonna go stick this in Beatrice's uh, chest. Hey, what is what is cracking, Beatrice? I've got an egg for your chest. And, um, I'm just gonna leave it at that. <laughs> Alright guys, let's get back into the Molehole Castle. I've been smelting down a whole bunch of jazz. I've been to the quarry to get a bit more sand. And I've been smelting down a whole bunch of nether, uh, nether rack, which we had in that chest. Um, just outside the nether district over there and we had some in the storage rooms too as you guys can see I've made a whole bunch of nether bricks and slowly but surely we've been managing to get our levels back that we lost in the ocean temple which makes me very happy check it out man we're on 13 levels already that's pretty good and then on this side I think I was smelting down a whole bunch of glass yeah that's right we need, we're gonna need a whole bunch of white glass panes because we need to uh, finish off all of the neon lights inside a mole mark so I'm going to need as much glass as I can get. So there we go, man. We've got like a good, what's that, man? A good two, four, six, about six stacks of glass, seven stacks of glass. And we'll be able to turn all of this nether brickage into uh, nether bricks. Nether, nether, nether bricks into nether bricks. <laughs> okay. That makes 100% sense. Nether bricks into nether bricks. Okay. Uh, fix Mojang <laughs> oh my goodness the sun has gone down guys we need to head up into the bedroom to have a little sleep but man this is going to be sweet I'm very excited for the next part of today's episode guys and that is going to be to get all of the neon lightage up in Walmart all right cyber diggity dogs welcome back to I guess the foreman's quarters of the Walmart uh, construction site and I've come here with all of this sweet ass fresh new glass up in here and we need to turn all of this glass into white glass panes so that we can finish off the neon lights in Walmart, man. And that's going to give us a really good idea um, if this, this design is actually going to look as sweet as we think it's going to be. So let's just make a ridiculous amount of white stained glass like that and then we can turn all of this white stained glass into white uh, stained panes. There we go. Whoa, that is a lot. I think we'll probably need close to this much I would think let's just make a, another two stacks of white stained glass into into glass panes you never man you can never have too much of this chance you know it, it's white and the cyber dog nation is is white and red so we'll definitely be using um, more of this white jazz at some other point but check it out guys I need to I basically need to run this double line of glass panes all the way around Walmart and also through the alleyways too man this is gonna take a butt long time um, especially because it, it feels like we're kind of like one one block too low if that makes any sense I kind of want to maybe try and do it from above uh, but these beams are in the way though oh man I'm just gonna have to do this manual styles people it's gonna have to bite the bullet and spend the next 10-15 minutes laying this jazz down probably gonna break a whole bunch of glass or so because uh, I'm noob that way <laughs> and uh, man I, you know what I'm gonna complain this sucker I'll see you guys in a second Kapla! Welcome back, Cyber Dogs. Well, that was a pain in the butthole to freaking craft. Man, who knew that laying down freaking glass panes could be such a pain in the butthole? 
<laughs> but check it out guys all of the neon lightage has now been installed into Walmart and man I gotta say I think it looks absolutely awesome man just check it out it just really does feel like a supermarket I really love this design I love like the different spacings between the different layers I love the depth that we've got from this design from the beams above to the shelves I mean you know like if you look at this closely right you have the the top of the shelf over here this little lip is slightly below the actual neon light so it adds a little bit more depth over here there's actually a bit of a uh, space in between those two layers so it, it really feels like the in interior of Walmart is, is very heavily layered um, and that's what creates the sort of realistic look I think and that's what makes it look so awesome I absolutely love it in here guys it's just looking so freaking epic um, man I'm so happy with how this is turning out uh, I made way too much white glass painting, um, <laughs> that's for sure, but I have no doubt in my mind that we're going to probably use it at some other point. We might even use it in the roof actually, so I'm, I'm pretty happy to just to hang on to it I reckon. But the next thing that I want to work on now guys, while the sun is still up, is the roof of, the, of Walmart. I want to start working on the roof, I want to start figuring out how is the roof of this sweet ass place going to look. And uh, I think what I'm going to do is just get up there, have a look down at what we're working with. I'm going to pick up a whole bunch of stone bricks and a whole bunch of dark oak wood planks. Let's just take as much of this jazz as we can. I think these are going to be the two primary building materials that we use. Let's take some stone slabs too. And I think I probably want to make a few dark oak wood uh, bits of slab also. So let's make like a sort of stack of dark oak wood slabs. And I think the sun is about to go down. Yeah. So I'm going to take a sleep, guys. I'm going to sleep this night away. And when we come back, let's have a talk together and a look together at how we can make the roof of Molmart look absolutely freaking pimps. I'm going to go hang out with the Griswold family. See you in a second, guys. Kapayo! It's a Griswold family party! Yeah, yeah! <laughs> oh, man, I just had about every single member of Griswold's family in that room while I was sleeping. Uh, it was kind of creepy, man. They, they, were, they were creeping all up in my jazz. They were watching me while I was sleeping. It was making me feel kind of awkward. Um, anyway, <laughs> we have slept the night away, guys, and we can start working on the roof of the Walmart Bazaar. And let's just get up here and have a look at what we're dealing with. I've already installed some of these sweet uh, dark oak wood beams over here. So I think the first, very first step for me is to just install the remainder of these beams. This is going to give us a, a pretty cool chance to look down into the Walmart Bazaar from on top of the roof. Man, that looks so sweet. Um, now, I've been trying to think of what kind of roof design to have. And there's, you know, there's, there's various designs we could do. We could do like a straight up pointy roof like we have in the Griswold family apartments over there. Like that could look pretty cool. That, it, it's going to be absolutely massive though. You know, the roof is probably going to going to obscure the view of the nether portal temple from uh, mole city which is not something i really want to do so another option is to make the roof quite flat um you know that that is a possibility we could do it that way um another option is i suppose to have like a very light gradient of the roof um using slabbage so instead of using solid blocks to go up and up and up and up to create the gradient of the roof so instead of using stairs like we used on the grizzled family apartments we could use slabs um, that could work quite nicely. But I think what I want to do is just add a layer of stone bricks all the way along the circumference of uh, the Malmark Bazaar over here. And it's on top of these bricks that we're going to build the roof, I think. Um, so let's just add a layer like this first. And before we actually do the rest of it, I just want to work a little bit on this section of the roof first. Then we can sort of make a judgment call on whether the roof is looking sweet or not. Let's actually work on the, the joint between this part of Malmart and the, the, the big part of Malmart. Because the joint's going to be an important uh, jo like position where the roof is going gonna, is gonna to join up. And um, we don't really have any roofs that join up other than, than joining up in, at like different gradient levels in the Griswold family apartments. But the, oh, oh, we do have a roof that does join up a little bit over here in Beatrice's house. I really liked how this roof joined up over here. So maybe we can think about doing something similar for the Walmart Bazaar. But what I've got in my brain is making like a really big lip um, for the roof. So let's just do it in the segment over here, right? I want to kind of make this lip maybe, um, I don't know, maybe, maybe three, two or three blocks wide. And so when you're, when you're down there on the ground level of uh, Mole City and you look up, you will see this like really nice big roof. 
So check it out, right? If we do this, if we make it two, two dark oak wood uh, slabs wide, and then let's add like a slabbage lip to it, almost like a gutter, I guess. But just to like break up the monotony of the dark oak wood because the whole i think i think most of the roof is probably going to be made out of dark oak wood so um i think we could use this nice like slabbage texture which is quite light to sort of break up the darkness i think that's going to look pretty awesome let's just extend the roof a little bit over here so we can just get a better look at what it might look like extend the lip like that and then i guess hmm we want to have a little bit of space between the, the, the beams and the, the top of the roof also so that when you look up, you get yet another layer added into your view. Uh, and that's going to make the, the whole internal look of Malmart Bazaar look even better. So I think the roof would probably start somewhere like, hmm, I guess it's going to start like this. Yeah. And then maybe it goes... For symmetry's sake, goes another block in like this. Hmm, I'm gonna have to make a crafting table up here. So we can make more, some more freaking slabbage. Probably gonna need a butt ton of the slabbage, actually. I'll just make a couple of stacks. So we go two blocks, and then two blocks, and then maybe we go back to stone slabs one block up i think we probably want stone slabs to be the majority of the roof if we want these beams to stick out when we look up from the floor of molmart we need to we need the the, the colors of the roof to clash with this dark uh, oak wood color so Slabbage works pretty well for that because the slabbage color is almost white. It's quite gray. So check it out, right? If we built our roof at this very slow gradient like this. I kind of like that, you know, like when I think about massive malls and massive supermarkets, they do have these like sort of flat roofs, don't they? I'm pretty sure they do. Maybe we add like one more layer over here. Then, maybe we add like one more, because check it out, at the end there we have kind of like a middle beam over there, is that, is that, are we at that, that position yet? I think we are. Alright, there we go my friends, so the majority of our roof is going to be made out of slabbage, which is going to contrast in colour with our dark oak wood beams, and if our aesthetic theory is correct, it should look freaking sweet when we look up through the neon lights. So let's get back into Walmart, guys, and avert our vision upwards. Let's have a look, man. Let's get to where we've made the roof. There we go. That's, that is looking very awesome. I'm digging that, man. I think that, that slabbage is the right choice for the roof. I, I don't know if this is the right design for the roof, though. I think we're going to have to go and take a look from a little bit further back. Uh, like somewhere near the, the end of Mole City, just to have a look at if we can actually see the roof or if it just sort of disappears because the gradient is too fine. Let's like go all the way over here and have a look back, shall we? Hmm, you can't really see the roof because I haven't finished it. See, that actually looks quite, that that to me kind of looks like a supermarket. Or like an office building. <laughs> but it kind of looks quite corporate-y, which is what I really, really like. Let's have a look at what the lip came out like. See, that that looks really sweet. I dig that, man. That looks awesome. All right, I tell you what, guys. I'm going to go off camera and finish off this roof uh, in the design that we have it now. And then we can have a look at it together. And hopefully it's going to come out as I see it in my brain. But so far, guys, the Mole Mart Bazaar is coming along awesomely. I'm very glad with the progress that we made today. We finished off the neon lights. We finished off the secret room. We started on the roof. And man, we are getting closer to finishing this puppy. Thank you so much for watching this episode, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. This has been Ren Diggity Dog playing Minecraft Survival. If you enjoyed the video, you hit that freaking like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, you hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching, my friends. We will see you in the next video.